Hello and welcome to another video. In this one, we're gonna be talking about the difference between a multiplication by a number and a multiplication by a variable and how that has some weird side effects in Python. Uh, this was actually shown to me in my chat and I explained this live on stream, but I figured I would re-record the explanation here. Anyway, let's jump into it. Okay, so first I'm gonna show you what it's actually doing and then we're gonna show how I can explain why it does that. So the question was asked, uh, why is string literal s times two identity or identical to string literal s times two? Uh, is being identity meaning they refer to exactly the same object? Uh, and you'll see we fortunately get a syntax warning here because this is uh, something you probably shouldn't do anyway. Usually you want equality and not you know, identity checks here. Uh, but you'll notice that it returns true, despite being two different computations on a string. Uh, now, if we were to instead assign two to a variable, such as i, and do the same thing with that variable, we'll notice that we get a different result here. We get false. That is, these two computations are not identical. And the reason for this has to do with the optimizer. And I've actually done a video on the optimizer before. I'll try and remember to link that in the description. Otherwise, you can just search Python optimized on, on my YouTube channel and find that other video. Uh, but in order to explain this, we're going to use the disassembler. I've also done a video on this as well. If you search Python is compiled, you'll probably find my video on that. Uh, but let's take these two expressions and put them into functions, and that'll better explain what's going on here. So if we have first our f, uh, you'll also note we still get that syntax warning. It's not when it executes, it's when the syntax is parsed. And so we get a slightly different result. Or we, we, get the, we get the warning even if it's not executed there. Um, so let's paste this into g. And first we're going to show the one that you know, works the way that you probably expect it to work. So we're going to take a look at g. We're going to do dis.dis on g. And we get the code for the function. And you'll notice here we're first you know, assigning 2 to i, then we're loading a constant, we're loading i and multiplying them. And we do the same thing here, and then we compare them with identity. Uh, so it's, it's still doing the same computation twice here. Uh, and so when you build a new string object, that new string object is not going to be the same as the other string object that you're building. Now if we take a look at f, which is the code where it returns true, in that sort of odd case there, You'll notice that we get a very different result here. Uh, you'll, know, you'll note that we don't see that s or 2 anywhere in our source code. The uh, Python has optimized this to a single string ss. So it's sort of done the multiplication at compile time and optimized it out. And because of that, you'll see that we're load consting ss. We do that twice. We do an identity comparison. These constants are the same. And in fact, if we look at f dot, is it code dot co consts? Consts. You'll notice here that there are only two constants stored in the code object, none for the implicit return none at the end of the function, and then the string literal ss, or the, the string object ss. Uh, and that, that little literal there gets reused in both places. This is, again, another optimization because strings in Python are immutable, so it can reuse that value there. Uh, but anyway, that's the trick here. So there's no actual computation or multiplication happening here. The people optimizer has decided to take that multiplication and do it compile time. And there's only a single object that represents both of those, both the left-hand side and the right-hand side. And so they are, of course, identical to each other. Anyway, I hope you find this useful. If there are additional things you would like me to explain, leave a comment below or reach out to me on the various platforms. But thank you all for watching, and I will see you in the next one.